Hey, Teddy K here for the Best Buy blog, and in this video, we are taking a look at the Ura Ring 4, the latest wearable from Ura, available at Best Buy now, that not only looks nice, but packs plenty of features. Smart rings are an interesting wearable category because they stand alone, but also bear a lot of similarities to other things like fitness bands, activity trackers, smart watches, things like that. Of course, there's no screen to look at. So in a sense, the smart ring is passive. It is tracking all kinds of things, but it's not forcing you or in, inducing you to interact with it in any way. You just wear it, right? There's no screen to look at, nothing to do with it. No haptic feedback, no vibration, nothing like that to indicate that there's a notification coming into your phone. That's it. So in that sense, it is maybe ideal if you're looking for that type of wearable. It's not something that you want to necessarily distract you in any way. You just want it to do its job. In order for it to do it properly though, it's got to fit right. And that's where the sizing kit comes in. So Ura sizing kit, uh, which is between four and size 15. So it's a very broad range in terms of sizes is key. This kit is $10. Uh, I highly recommend you get this first before you do anything related to the Ring 4. This includes even if you had the Ring 3, by the way, because that was a slightly different design. So whatever fit there may not be the same here. Pick two or three sizes that you think are gonna fit. Wear them each for about 24 hours so that way you can determine how comfortable they are and if they're the right fit. From there, you'll know what you need. From a design perspective, the Ring is very, very nice. Uh, I got the silver one here and it, uh, it just looked like a nice a nice ring. I mean, it looked like anything else. Maybe a little thick, uh, but again, smart rings generally are, so no surprise there. The thing about it, though, is that if you want to keep it pristine, you gotta be careful about friction with certain things. So, uh, you know, in most cases, it won't scratch, but if you're lifting weights, that's probably the most dangerous one, simply because if you're lifting free weights or, you know, you're raising, holding a bar, the metal, the friction with the metal could end up scratching the ring. So just be mindful of that, wear a glove so you can protect it. Water is another one of those things. This thing will do perfectly fine in water, but it can slip out if you're not careful. So too much exposure to water and it might be, it might you know, just get a little loose and then slip out and you don't want that. So this is an expensive item after all. But, in it, but at the same time, like I said, if you're careful, you're, you'll be good to go. Main thing here is that it, wearing this, you are actually wearing a device that is trying its best to get a holistic per, uh, point of view of where you stand from a health and fitness perspective. There are limitations to that. So for example, the sleep tracking as extensive as it is, and it is very extensive, uh, does not include sleep apnea detection, for example, right? So it's not gonna recognize if there's atrial fibrillation going on, uh, an irregular heartbeat, anything like that. It can notice though because there is a heart rate monitor that there um, might be something off uh, maybe your heart rate's a little high while you're sleeping or maybe it's a little high while you're working out things like that so there is plenty here from when it comes to sleep tracking when it comes to activity tracking readiness it takes all of these metrics and uses them to determine how ready you are for any kind of activity the next day so the previous day kind of governs how things are going to look for the next day there's a lot of information here and it's not just numbers, right? So, uh, you know, any kind of interaction you're gonna have with this thing is obviously gonna be through the Ura app, as you see here to the side. There is where you'll see, again, numbers, metrics, but also insight, guidance, explanations for certain things so that you understand what is going on. So rather than just seeing a collection of data, you're seeing something that at least is gonna be explained to you that might be actionable on top of that. Again, the app is also, and the ring is somewhat guessing in some respects, because it doesn't know everything you're doing. It doesn't know everything you're eating, for example, but it can know certain things based on your own manual input. So if you're drinking too much coffee, maybe you drink too much alcohol, if you input those things, they can make a difference in how things turn out when it comes to the, the metrics that you see. So there's a fair bit here. This is a deep, deep app when you really dig into it and you see all the different features that are involved. And it becomes more impressive because you notice not just that the ring can track these things, but it does so very accurately. For uh, I've, I've tried a lot of wearables. This is one of the most accurate that I've seen, which is very, very impressive. Sleep tracking, for example, it knew the minute I woke, I went to sleep and the minute I woke up. Naps, it was dead on as far as the naps were concerned. It seemed to recognize, even when I was sick, it recognized things that were off, like my body temperature going up a little bit. 
Uh, Ur even added a feature that will try to look for signs where you might be coming down with something so that you can act on it sooner. Uh, these are really cool features to have. There's even the option too, where you can, um, you can pause certain tracking while you're sick, for example. So if obviously you're, you're not able to work out or do anything active because you're trying to recover, you can put that in. There is a series of tags here that you can input to turn just to do just based on what it is you're feeling or what you're going through, right? It could be anything from an illness, even to mental health. So there's a, there's a fair bit, a fair bit that Ura offers that tries to personalize for you what you can do. There's even meditation practices, things like that, different routines that you can try also within the app. Bear in mind though, that all this stuff that I'm talking about is all hidden behind a subscription. The first 30 days are free, but after that, it's $8 a month or $9 for the year. I will tell you that if you are going to buy this ring, which I know is expensive, you're going to have to also budget that in because this ring is not, the ring four is just not, it is not worth it if you're not planning to subscribe to all the features that you get with it. It just isn't. And, and, and so uh, it gets more expensive that way, but I have to tell you the $8 could be worth it for all the different, just the different metrics, the different things that it's tracking. Uh, on a daily basis. You can count on about a week of battery life for this. That does change slightly. So if you're wearing, let's say a, five, a four or five or a 14 to 15, the 14 to 15 will last longer than the, than the smaller ones, simply because of size, just physics. But we're talking about a matter of maybe a day or day and a half uh, in terms of a discrepancy. So uh, roughly on average here, we're talking about a week. You might get eight days with a larger model, but even so you, you after a week or within just before it's done, put it in the charger, you know, just slide it in and it'll charge fairly quickly as well. I do wish that Ura would have made a case so that kind of like wireless earbuds where you just slide the, the ring in and then it just charges on its own. But at the same time, if you slide this in to charge while you're taking a shower or eating, then, you know, you'll get a lot of battery life while you're doing that. There's a lot here. I, you know, I know that this video, it can't be as exhaustive as it probably should be for a, a product like this, but I'd be sitting here talking to you for a long time if I was to go through every single feature that's in here. The point I'm trying to get across is that this is a fairly extensive toolkit that sits on your on your finger. I mean, it's it, it is a, an impressive device. I don't often say that uh, about wearables simply because some of them have become iterative, and in, in some cases also they become predictable. Uh, the Ura Ring, even if you've had used it before, you'll know what it's about. But I think you'll find that this one is more impressive simply because. The design is better, so it fits more comfortably, but is also ruggedized in its own way and quite extensive in what it tracks. When you put all that together, you've got a solid product. It's expensive, no question, but it could be well worth it if you want to stay on top of your health. And that's my review of the Ura Ring 4, available at Best Buy now. You can read about it by clicking that link below. For the Best Buy blog, I'm Teddy K. Thanks for watching.